Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for information on living in Maryland. Today we're gonna to talk about the five best neighborhoods in Frederick, and I'm really curious what you think, so let me know in the comments below which you would pick. And before we begin, I have to let you know I am a licensed realtor in the state of Maryland, so if you are looking to move to Maryland, to move out of Maryland, to relocate within Maryland, I am happy to help you. My information is listed on the bottom of the screen and also in the caption. You can reach out to me on Instagram as well at at Eddie Brady Real Estate, just like my name is spelled here, and I'd be happy to help you. So with that, let's get started. When talking about the best neighborhoods in Frederick, there are two things that I am not going to use as criteria, and those are schools and crime data. And the reason is I'm actually not allowed as a realtor to speak on those subjects and direct you to neighborhoods based on those, but I will link some great resources in the caption below for you to look up great information about local schools and the crime data so you can match those up with the city that you're considering moving to. So coming in at number five on our list is the neighborhood of Ballinger Creek. This is by far the biggest neighborhood in Frederick that we'll be talking about with over 21,000 residents. It is just massive. And other than it being such a massive neighborhood with various housing options, it also has a ton of amenities for its size. It has what's called the Westview Promenade, which is a huge outdoor shopping center slash outdoor mall. It has a movie theater there and tons of restaurants. So you have so much to do and so much nearby when you're living in Ballinger. Creek. They also have the Ballinger Creek Park, which is a massive park run by the county, and it is probably the best park in the entire Frederick County area. And it has massive dog park runs that are actually separated by dog size, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen that anywhere else in the county. So if you are moving to the Frederick area with a dog, you should seriously consider Ballinger Creek for this reason. And the location of Ballinger Creek for commuting is very convenient. If you have to commute to Virginia or maybe you have to go to DC, it's easy to hop on Route 15 South or I-270 South to commute down to either of those areas. It's probably the most convenient for both of those that we're gonna talk about on this list. So keep that in mind if you are a commuter moving to the Frederick area. And coming in at number four is the neighborhood of Spring Ridge. Located just east of downtown Frederick, this this neighborhood is about a quarter the size of Ballinger Creek with about 5,000 residents in this one neighborhood alone. And what makes Spring Ridge a little bit better than Ballinger Creek is that it has a single HOA. It has a true neighborhood feel. And what residents like about Spring Ridge is that it has its own culture. They actually take pride in living in Spring Ridge. And if you haven't been to Frederick before, you should know that culture is king. So when we're talking about neighborhoods, we're talking about the full experience, not just really nice homes or just amenities. People want to belong. They want a community that they can be a part of. And that's an important thing for most Frederick residents. So Spring Ridge beats out Ballinger Creek by a long shot because of its culture. And coming in at number three is the neighborhood of Warman's Mill. This is a brand new neighborhood located just northeast of downtown Frederick. It has brand new houses, restaurants, everything. And I like to think of this neighborhood as the new Spring Ridge. And whoever started this neighborhood did it right. They started off with great culture. They have something called Music in the Village, which is every Saturday from October through December. And it's really similar to Alive at Five. It has food trucks and live music from one to 4 p.m. And I'll tell you, there are not a lot of neighborhoods in Frederick that are brand new that have started out with any kind of community events like this. So I give the creators of Warman's Mill huge props for this. And while it's not the most convenient for commuting to let's say Baltimore or Virginia or DC, Warman's Mill is brand new, which means it is fully set up for remote work. So it's going to attract a majority of remote workers that can work from home. And I think that's great considering the direction that our labor market is going. So if you are a remote worker and you don't care about where you're located as far as being near highways or anything like that, Warman's Mill is a great place for you to live. 
And coming in at number two is Downtown Frederick, which I'm sure is not a surprise to you if you've watched my channel for any time at all. But Downtown Frederick is amazing for so many reasons. You have Carroll Creek Linear Park, which is a really cool river walk style, uh, you know, walking path along downtown. It has plenty of restaurants on it, breweries on it. And there are so many amazing restaurants downtown and everything is walkable. So Downtown Frederick, just has the overall best feel when you're going out and need a night out in the town. And downtown Frederick does a really good job at getting its citizens out and experiencing the city with events like Alive at Five and Fire and Ice Festival and First Saturdays and so many other events throughout the year. It is so much fun to live in downtown Frederick. And another thing that draws a lot of people to Frederick is its vibrant art scene and its rich history. So if you love art, Frederick is the place for you. There are so many galleries, it's hard to keep up with. And as far as the history of Frederick, it goes back to the Civil War era and before. So there is so much to do, see, learn about in the downtown area of Frederick. And I highly recommend this neighborhood if you're thinking about moving to Frederick. And last but not least, the number one neighborhood in Frederick is Baker Park. And I know some that live downtown think that this is part of downtown, but it's actually slightly removed just to the west side, but very close walking distance. And these are the houses that directly surround Baker Park, and they are the most beautiful homes in the entire city. So you get all of the benefits of living downtown with the added benefits of the entire Baker Park area. I mean, there's a covered bridge in Baker Park, all kinds of fields, pavilions, lakes. It is so cool to live around Baker Park. So I think that that combined with the downtown culture that's so easily accessible makes Baker Park the number one place to live in Frederick, the number one neighborhood. And I'm really curious what you think below, which neighborhood is your favorite. And if you're considering moving to Frederick, I would be happy to help you. I'm licensed all over the state of Maryland and I really love working in Frederick especially. So my information is below. Feel free to reach out to me. And if you really are considering moving to the Frederick area, make sure to watch my pros and cons of living in Frederick. And if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you stay up to date on all of my videos about living in Maryland.